Okay, so I'm gonna go to my tentacle right now, take out his Machamp, scald it. I have Rain Dish, so it's cool. I should be able to take Dynamic Punch nicely. Now I'm really praying for no hacks from the Confusion hacks. He could be going for Thunder Punch, but uh, Tentacle is gonna take Thunder Punch really well. But instead, he goes for the hacks. Uh, dynamic punch and luckily I don't get hacked by the Machamp so thank god for that now he's gonna probably want to uh, finish me off with earth power here or he could be going with hidden power ice expecting me of switching to either Dragonite or Gliscor so I'm just gonna go to uh, Politoed to play safe and uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna use uh, Scald here as he uses hidden power ice, I broke. Uh, I break. I broke his uh, balloon. Uh, actually, I should say, popped his balloon. Sorry about that. And now I'm gonna switch to uh, Dragonite as I take hidden power grass really easily. And uh, I can actually just go for a sweep now with my uh, Dragon Dance. Uh, Dragonite, unless he, hmm, yeah, he can't do anything. I'm gonna use. Dragon Claw, just so uh, I don't want him to know that I have Waterfall yet. Now, he didn't take any leftovers damage, so it must be a choice card for Lander, so I'm going to use Dragon Dance again, just to be safe. But no, he's uh, he's not a choice card for Lander, so I'm going to roost up. Get some recovery. So if he, uh, so he's gonna send his, if he sends in his scissor with bullet punch, uh, if it's choice band, it's gonna do a lot. But no, he goes to his smeargle, and uh, most likely the smeargle is sashed. So that's gonna be a problem if it is, cause it can just freely spore me. Smeargles can be annoying. So I'm gonna use dragon claw, and it is a focus sashed smeargle. smeargle. Hmm. Let's see, I don't want to take any chances. I have defeated his Machamp in Landorus. He has Scizor, Heatran, and uh, uh, Tyranitar left. So I'm going to go with my... Hmm. He's going to most likely Shell Smash here and probably... I don't want him to go to a scissor, so I'm going to switch out to Tentacle. He's either going to Shell Smash to Scizor or Tyranitar, but uh, they've lost, uh, it's going to, whoever he switches, uh, Baden passes to, is going to lose minus two stages of special defense because uh, he is passing the Shell Smash, so Skull is going to do double the power as it does, but uh, it doesn't do enough to actually finish the scissor off here but uh tentacle is very defensive so it's gonna take the bug bite really easily and my skill this time does finish off his scissor because obviously uh 63 percent at first it's gonna finish it off first second time and uh he has a one percent smear goal tyranitar and uh heat ran left which is also weakened so let's see what he goes to here. I'm expecting Tyranitar. Hmm. It could be a Dragon Dance Tyranitar just by looking at his sweeper team. Let's see, if he, if it is a Dragon Dance Tyranitar, I should be able to take it with Gliscor unless it has Ice Punch. But not a lot of Dragon Dance Tyranitars carry Ice Punch, so that is good. And I'm going to use Protect here, gain some recovery from Rain Dish as he uses Earth Power. I'm going to switch to uh, Dragon Knight, hope, hoping that I wake up here. and uh, Or if he decides to stay in on me or switch to his Smear Goal. So if I can wake up and he stays in, uh, that's game, basically. Unless if he keeps going with Lava Plume and gets a Lucky Burn. But uh, he is faster than me. That tells me that his heat ran is timid nature. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this game off now. He He's going to send in his Tyrant Tar. Now he knows I have Waterfall, but it doesn't matter. Waterfall, waterfall is going to do 77%. I, crunch is not going to do anything. And uh, that's a sweep. Okay, and Waterfall. 
that's game. Okay, let's do another. My rating right now is 1343. All right, let's go next battle against etc. Which is Latin for and so on for those that do not know. So he has M by Palm, Hitman Top, Latios, Hitman Lee, Celebi, and Zapdos. And the variation is plus 9. Not bad, because uh, this is looking like a easy team to beat. So I'm hoping to sweep. Hmm. I'm gonna send in my Politoi, get the instant rain up. He goes to his Celebi. I'm gonna go to Chansey, which walls the hell out of Celebi. I'm gonna use uh, Toxic. No, no, no. Okay, uh, doesn't matter. I was gonna use Stealth Rock, but he probably expected that and went to hit him on top. But uh, it's Poison now, which is great. And now Tentacle can easily wall it, meaning I can safely spin away the. Stealth Rock, because he has no Ghost Type. No Ghost Type, so uh, Rapid Spin away that Stealth Rock. And he sends in his uh, Zapdos, which is also easily walled by my Zapto, uh, Chansey. So I'm going to safely Stealth Rock here, as he uses Discharge and paralyzes me, which has a 30% chance. I'm going to switch out to Gliscor, just to heal off that Paralysis from... Uh, Chansey, so um, yes, so um, he goes to his uh, Hitmon top here. He's most likely gonna spin, and so I'm gonna go to Dragon Knight, but he doesn't spin. That's fine. I'm gonna use this opportunity to Dragon Dance and perhaps go for a uh, sweep. Some guy's commenting, he says that this is M Dragon's team, but this is not M Dragon's team. This is my team that I made before Dra M Dragon made his team. And M Dragon actually got his idea with his uh, rain stall team uh, from me because uh, he asked me for help. So I helped him out in creating a pretty cool uh, rain dance, rain stall team. So yeah. And uh, I'm going to go with another Dragon Dance. And this looks like it's going to be a sweep. Go for another Dragon Dance. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the Celebi yet. But uh, he uses Low Sweep, which uh, lowers my speed. So that is going to allow him to beat my uh, Dragon Knight with his Latios. But uh, it doesn't matter because... I'm not going to fall for that, and this Zapdos most likely has Hidden Power Ice, so I'm going to switch out to my Chansey, as it does use his Hidden Power, as expected, and uh, I'm going to use Toxic. I don't know, um, he doesn't want to stay in, obviously, because Zapdos, even with Substitute, is not going to be able to beat Chansey. So he's going to switch out to Celebi, and my Toxic misses, that sucks. But uh, I'm going to use Toxic as he uses Stealth Rock. I'm going to use Toxic again, expecting him of switching out. But he doesn't. He stays in. I'll just recover back the significant HP with Soft Boil. So I'm now at full health. And now he knows I'm at full health. And since Giga Drain isn't doing anything, he's going to switch. And so he switches. He switches to M by Palm. And uh, Gliscor takes on M by Pime quite nicely so I'm gonna go with Gliscor and uh, switch back to Chansey while uh, Zapdos and uh, use Seismic Toss on it if it goes for the substitute if not if he switches whatever he switches to is gonna take damage from the Seismic Toss he switches to his Celebi and uh, I'm gonna go to my no 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 I don't wanna take risk it could be a uh, no, it has Stealth Rock, so it's not a nasty plot sweeper. And it could have Earth Power, so... But I do know that Tentacle will be able to take Earth Power quite nicely. Tentacle has Beastly Special Defense. 
So I'm going to spin away that hazard so my Dragonite can safely sweep him later on. Now I don't want to take this uh, expected trick. So I'm going to protect. Let's see. I'm going to scout for first. He uses a Psy Shock. So I'm going to go to my Jirachi. And uh, since it didn't take any recoil damage from Life Orb, it's not a Life Orb Latio. So it could be either Expert Belt or the more commonly used Choice Spec Latios. So I am going to attempt a sweep here. I'm going to use substitute sub up safe, safely. I'm going to use thunder for the 30% of uh, 60% paralysis. And uh, his hidden power fire is not going to break my substitute because I'm behind. Uh, I'm under the rain. So I am going to be able to sweep him here. Take out this hit on top. Thunder is going to KO it. Fake out is not going to break substitute. Because I resisted. I'm a steel type. So yeah, this looks like it's going to be another sweep. Ending. Thunder, I'm faster. But he lives with 9%. So oh, that's a nice hit, Mon Lee. Has good special defense, I guess. But I'm going to finish it off with Thunder. I don't want to... Uh, show off my water pulse yet even though I don't really need the water pulse to sweep this game so that's game good game and he's gonna forfeit knowing that's game so my rating right now is 1352 doing work let's try a different team now let's go with my sandstorm offense team all right let's see I'm against Walreen, you mad? <laughs> oh, he doesn't have Walreen in his team, but uh, okay. I was expecting Walreen in a hail stall team, which would have been annoying. But I would have the advantage because I have steel. But he forfeited. Hmm. Yeah. I don't want to say that he forfeited because he's scared because that sounds arrogant and I have been getting complaints about that and that I've I've been taking way too much of my time uh, picking a lead but that was only like two seconds and he quit <laughs> I can't really say anything about that so uh this person's team is Bronzong, Magnezone, Terrakion, Tyranta, Reuniclus, and Gastrodon so I am going to, hmm, let's see, how can I sweep? I want to plan this beforehand. So, um, Tyranitar, he's probably going to go with Terrakion lead. Start off with the blow with the close combat. So I'm going to go with my Scizor. But he does have Magnazone, but as you will see, this is a special type Scizor. A special kind of scissor as a uh, yeah he sends in his Tyranitar um, I'm afraid that he might be max speed and outspeed my scissor and fire blast but I'm gonna take the chances and use u-turn on this and so he stays in and I'll switch to my hmm he could be going with superpower hmm but I don't really need my Tyranitar too much in this. So I'm going to switch out to that. But, and he uses Stone Edge. Which tells me that uh, from the damage it must be a Choice Band Tyranitar. So I'm going to switch out to my Lucario. Which takes Choice Band uh, Stone Edge really nicely. But he misses so that also helps. And uh, his wall for Lucario seems to be Reuniclus. So I'm going to switch out to my Scizor, take advantage. But he instead goes to Gastrodon, which I don't know why. And um, I don't want to risk Geld Burn, so I'm going to use U-Turn. And I get a lucky critical hit. One of the rare occasions where I actually get a critical hit that might matter. So, um, let's see. Latios, which will be able to take any of uh, um. Gastrodon's moves. Now the problem here is that I will be trapped in by his choice band 
Tyranitar's Pursuit. But it doesn't matter because that will only allow my uh, Scizor or Lucario to set up. And Specs Draco Meter will still do a lot, but not enough to KO it. If only I had a Stealth Rock up with my Tyranitar. So now I can't go for a Scizor Sweep yet because he has a Magnazone which will outspeed my Scizor and hit and power me if he is a choice packed uh, Magnazone. So I'm gonna just send in my Tyranitar, use Stealth Rock as his Tyranitar is basically dead because if he switches out it's just gonna die from Stealth Rock damage. So let's see what he does. Is he going to stay in and use Pursuit or switch out? He's going to switch out to his uh, Bronzong. And this is most likely his uh, Stealth Rock supporter. So I'm going to use Fire Blast. But no, it's his... Uh, it must be a dual screen Bronzong. Hmm. Dual screen Bronzong. That's going to be a problem. Good thing my... Rotom W is choice carve, so even if uh, I'm unable to take down one of his Pokemon. Oh my god, I get lucky again. I get a Fire Blast critical hit. But uh, that will still allow him uh, to sustain his Reflect, of course, for one more turn. And uh, so my Tyranitar can't really do anything to this uh, Terrakion, so I have to stay in. And, I, and it has Justified, so I'm not going to use a Dark-type move against it. So I'm just going to stay in. Yeah, I can't really switch in, switch out to anything. I'm going to weaken it. Yeah, so I am I wanted to take the Close Combat, because that's going to lower his defense, which will allow me to uh, deal a lot of damage with my Caesar. Mm. And his Special Defense dropped. But uh, he still has his... Hmm. So I've taken out his Gastrodon, his Bronzong. So I'm going to go with Rotom W now because it's Scarfed and Hydro Pump will definitely knock it out. Even with the special defense boost that uh, Terrakian gained from the Sandstorm. He's going to use his uh, Tyranitar this time as fodder. And uh, let's see. He's probably going to go to Reuniclus now because that's his best opportunity to take on uh, the Hydro Pump. So he has to go to Reuniclus. There's no other option for him. So let's see. <laughs> yep, and he goes to Reuniclus. And he's going to probably call Mind Up or Trick Room. But it's uh, called Mind Reuniclus. And I'm going to sub... Uh, Sorry stance here as he as he probably thought I was gonna U turn out, but no, I'm uh I'm not the commonly used scissor set with the uh, source um I'm not a choice scissor as I should say that uh use U turn as the common move. This is a very different kind of scissor that I've made. It's a metal coat scissor with the uh, Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Recover. And he quits because uh, he knows it's gonna, it's the game. Because I could sweep the rest of his Pokemon. So my rating right now is 1376. So let's go for another battle. Hmm. Shirohiji. Shirohiji. Don't, I really don't know how to pronounce Japanese names. If this is a Japanese name. So uh, his team is Ferrothorn. Rotom W, Conkelzer, Celebi, Scizor, and Politoed. Okay. So he's probably going to go with Conkelzer to take advantage of my Tyranitar. And knowing that uh, none of my Pokemon can uh, take on uh, Conkelzer's attacks nicely. So, um... I'm going to go with Latios, since Latios can deal damage to any of his Pokemon. So as expected, he goes to his Conkolder. Now, Draco Meteor probably won't beat it. So, um... I just want to weaken it at this point. But, no, Draco Meteor misses the first one, which still would have done a nice amount of damage. Okay, um... He's most likely going to set up Stealth Rock or Spikes here. I'm going to 
go to Tyranitar, bring in my sand, and se uh, set up my stealth rock. He's gonna just stay in and use power whip. Okay, I'm gonna go to Scizor now. As he uses spikes. Oops, sorry about that. Alright, um, let's see. Hmm. He's probably expecting superpower here, so he might be going to Rotom W, or he might be just staying in. I'm gonna use Sword Stance because uh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't have anything to safely switch out to. Now he does. He's gonna go to most likely his Rotom W. So uh, I'm gonna U-turn out, or his uh, Scizor, it, uh, as he expected. Uh, bug bite probably okay doesn't matter I have my uh, Rotom W and I'm going to so it's his uh, Scizor gains leftovers recovery so it must be a sword stance Scizor so I'm gonna use Volt Switch and Volt Switch out take the switch advantage here and uh, let's see can I go to my Lucario and deal some heavy damage I could but he does have a Celebi which will take my close combat quite nicely but uh... I have nothing to lose close combat will still do a lot of damage so let's see No, he's gonna stay in he doesn't want me to uh... sword stance and deal a lot of damage to uh... his switch celebi i'm guessing but, uh, but he does have rocky helmet which does a lot of damage with the iron barb damage so he weakened my lucario quite a lot here and this Lucario must be choice carved. Why else would you send it in on a uh, look? But a uh, timid nature Rotom wash form is extremely uncommon, so it's most likely not that. So he's probably gonna use Vault Switch, being a choice carf and wanting to take the switch advantage. Hmm. So I am going to switch to let's see. I'm going to switch to Latios because uh, Latios can take the Vol switch nicely and it should be able to d defeat any of his pokes that uh, he wishes to send out. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm still waiting for him to make a move. Hmm. And uh, he's going to take some time. Okay, as he waits, I'm going to just talk about the rest of his team. He has Rotom W at 87%. Conkildur at 100%. Um, Celebi and Scizor and Politoed all at good health as well. Um, Scizor is 51%, so I can go for... Uh, Draco Meteor here. But a spec uh, Draco Meteor only did 83% and he got a critical hit on my Latios. So that sucked. Hmm. Yeah, that, that really sucked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to Rotom W. Take the switch advantage. I don't want him to send in his uh, Scizor safely and take advantage of my switch. So I am going to switch to this. I'm gonna... Hmm. So Vault Switch will not be able to KO it. So I'm gonna go with Hidden Power Hydro Pump this time. He's either gonna switch to uh, Celebi or yeah, yeah. Why did he switch to Politoed? I don't know, but uh, he's gonna use it as fodder. But that's gonna be a mistake because now he's not gonna be able to uh, uh, subside the Sandstorm here. So I'm going to be able to safely send out the Sandstorm, and it will be permanent now. He's going to Leaf Storm. Okay, so it's a Leaf Storm Celebi. And uh, so that is going to allow me to safely do something. Hmm, what should I do? I know I can't take a Hidden Power Fire with minus two special attack. But I'm going to... Blast it off with my specs, Latios, whatever he switches to. If he wishes to switch or stay in, he could 
stay in and uh, use recover. So let's see what he does. Yeah, he's gonna stay in. With, and he lives at one percent, and he gets a critical hit from Leaf Storm. Now that is gonna be crucial because that is gonna give him the advantage to randomly uh, send in any of his Pokemon without giving me the switch advantage. So let's see what he does. I mean, uh, let's see what I should do. He has Rotom W, Conkleder, Scizor, and Ro. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Hmm. Like his Conkleder is gonna be problematic. It's at a uh, full health, so that's a problem. As uh, can actually do a lot of damage to my team. So I'm gonna go with my Rotom W because I'm faster than his Rotom Wash. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna... Hmm. What should I do? This is a tough situation. I'm gonna Vault Switch out. It could be going for the predicted, uh, Vault Switch and might use Hydro Pump here because he can hit any of my Pokemon with Hydro Pump really nicely. So that is going to be a problem if he does do that. But uh, I have nothing to lose. I'm going to go with Lucario. And now I'm going to take the switch advantage again with Vault Switch. So let's see. He's going to stay in this time. So he now has Conkeldur and Scizor left. I'm going to go to my own Scizor, which is Metal Coat. And uh, he goes to his Conkildur. Now I know I am faster, and uh, I do know I also know that uh, I will be able to take Drain Punch. So I'm going to use Sword Stance as he uses Bulk Up to increase his uh, attack. So, hmm, Bullet Punch should be able to do a lot, but he will regain that damage from uh, Drain Punch. Yeah. That's uh, hmm. It's a good thing he used bulk up again, cause my Landorus will be able to revenge his Conkeldur. So I'm gonna use Bullet Punch again, and I get lucky with the critical hit. But the thing is, uh, even if he did beat it, he's only gonna recover half the damage he does, and uh, Bullet Punch is gonna do about thirty percent, let's say. So uh. He's, that's going to leave it with 14% plus the recovery. That's going to leave it to 40%. Uh, no, not 40%, like 35, 30, somewhere between 35 and 40%. And then my Earthquake, since I have Sand sand uh, Rush, I mean Sand Force f with my Landorus, I will be able to defeat it with the Earthquake and then be, uh, beat his uh, Scizor as well which was his last remaining Pokemon. It was a leftover scissor as well, so it won't be able to KO me as well. And I had Rotom Wash, which would have taken it out as well. So, yeah, that... I had a really good chance of winning uh, nonetheless. And my rating right now is 1389. So let's do another battle.